então, mano. That's a little better. That looks awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe the wind was that bad yesterday that it made it fly so terrible. That's cool. It's a little fast though, isn't it? It's a good speed. I mean, it's like a good park flyer speed. It's scale. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, that's gonna be a blast in here. Let's see if I can put it down on the... Nice. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Yeah, it's I need hard. it. Hard to see. Hard to see. Oh, here, take my glasses. I, I'm sorry, I didn't dial the rudder down, so it's kind of. You know, it's so funny. You're always behind the camera, but never in front of it. Always capturing it. Here, I'll go outside. You swoop down on me. <laughs> Is this a 2204? Yeah. Yeah, it really needs that power. I got a real inefficient prop on it though. It doesn't have a good battery to get about that. I like just hitting the rudder, you can just like do this hairpin turn. And... Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Did you see me pile drive it yesterday? No. I launched it, the wind turned upside down, just smacked down into the ground, full throttle. Nice. There's a bunch of commotion going on over here. So if you guys don't know this, my brother has an amazing talent with, what, what would you call it, Jim? Uh, kind of industrial art. <laughs> industrial art. Steampunk. Yeah. And, uh, and, and acquires tons of stuff. So he's gonna be helping us with our set, trying to make it really, really cool. Look at all this stuff. Well, we want state-of-the-art filming equipment. So I figured <laughs> like a 1916 Kodak camera. We, we were gonna start shooting all of our episode. It has video stabilization. <laughs> <laughs> hold it like that <laughs> and uh, awesome. kind of like industrial art you just take old stuff and you make it work you make it do so, another, that another function that was a old army film splicer like basically they would put reels of film through and then they could they could splice it and make it do whatever they want and this thing's super cool this is an old army spotlight from the korean war so imagine toting that around and then Boom. Dude, that's awesome. That's kind of neat. That's so cool. So uh, we're going to create some functional and non-functional art with it. Light bulbs used to be these. <laughs> these are from the Korean War too. These are brass sockets from the Korean War era with Bakelite handles. And what they used to do is they do army spotlights, as Chad pointed out. So spotlights. <laughs> or you can drink awesome. out of it. <laughs> and then uh, a lot of it is uh, we've got old air maps this isn't one of them but we can repurpose old air maps so that when we're flying around we know where we were in 1950. I like the buttons and, uh, and the stuff like this. I don't even know how they look at that. Yeah. And some cool look Radio is. Radio remote interphone. <coughs> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> it smells like old stuff. Like oh my god, it smells down. awesome. Smell, smell that. <laughs> I don't want to smell it, it'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I did, I found some 1930s Amelia Earhart luggage and I carry around my transmitter in it. <laughs> so it's really cool. Dude, what is that thing? That's a megaphone. Pick that up. Is that, is that, that a megaphone or a bazooka? <laughs> 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 it's, like, it's like the Acme bazooka, you know? That's awesome. Or Look at that. Dude, some cobwebs. Cob cob spider or it webs. Could be a hat. I dumpster dove this out of the flight test dumpster, an old calendar. Wait, that was in our dumpster? Yeah. What? Yeah, it was in, It was with a, I, I actually found a Fury hat in the dumpster too, so probably Austin threw it away. And I took one of his dad's hats she knows that. and I still wear it. But then what you can do is you, you can uh, paint a frame black and you can repurpose the stuff. You know, old calendar <laughs> art. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, make really cool pictures. Something special to me. That was my wife when we were dating with our airplane. Oh. Josh and I both soloed in that, so 
That's really cool. This is my wife cute. Jim's gonna be working on content on repurposing stuff. So uh, he has a set down in his basement where he does a lot of this kind of stuff. So I'll be doing an FT group. So yeah. like when the kids come over to fly with us and stuff and we're building in the winter, we'll, we'll help do our FT group. And we need help with our set, so he's helping us out. Dude, what do you say we go have TJ fly as hard as he can? Dude, let's go. TJ McGeege, flying hard, flying free. Let's go see what he's up to. What's that, man? Doing an article. Doing an article? Do you have time to fly? We can fly. What are we flying? You're going to fly whatever you got. What's that? That is a test build. I think it's time for you to rip. You have, a, you have an FPV screen? <laughs> yes, I do. Where? Ah, I... Grab it. TJ's about to fly. That one's a lot dirtier. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is the actually this is the one that that I lost the uh, the MotoGP Nationals with. Oh, there you go. All right. You got a little bit of wind today, man. So Dude, windy. <laughs> Couldn't fly his plane because it was so windy. Now we're gonna fly this sucker. Go as hard as you possibly can. You're the third person to do the uh, yeah. fly hard challenge. What are we gonna call it? FHC. We'll think about that. I'll have to think about. I'll have to think hard on that. Fly well, hard what, challenge. What's, what's the what's the what do I gotta do? You just gotta fly the hardest you've ever flown and hope that you don't crash. But if you crash, it's all okay. Oh, got him! It's not my GoPro. <laughs> That's all the more reason to fly. So are, are we saying that we may be upgrading to another GoPro 5? I'm say, yeah. Disclaimer, I haven't flown in like a week and a half. That's all the better, man. Other than Way better. work stuff. Okay. So. Well, you know what? I'm okay with this. When I did mine, it was two, two weeks and some odd days. Yeah. You ready to do this? All right, cue the background music. As hard as we can. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. I'm watching it right now. Ooh, there's some trees. Dude, don't crash, man. The long the the further into your flight you go, the harder you can fly because <laughs> you don't want to go too hard from the beginning because then you'll just boom boom right into the boom doom, boom right into doom doom. <laughs> dude, you got the pretty tree colors. Oh, these yeah, this days. dude, this is this was we should have had this last time. Ooh, good. Literally a week ago, all these trees were green. That's true. Ooh, Ooh. I heard a little kiss of I, death. Yeah. <laughs> kiss of death. <laughs> I am flying kiss. There you go. There you Whoop. have it. Uh, there. You. Oh, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, right across the treetops. We call him Dude. the tree chop chip. Yeah. I'm glad that he flew after you and I. Yes, I I Because I wouldn't want to be I wouldn't want to have to fly after <laughs> him like Josh or Austin. So here this is what we're looking at right now. They can't see anything. Can you see anything? Nothing. No, okay. Not even one. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try to be all fancy and up and over and then through the V. <laughs> But no, no, because <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't like I almost got it. It was as far away from almost getting as you could go. Well, like, that's all right. This is the same GoPro that Stefan. This, oh, this is mine, huh? Yeah. Dude, that was that was by far the hardest crash I've ever had. Ooh. Was it really that hard? Yeah. I've what never, you hit? I've never a tree. hit a tree, a tree dead on square in my life. Okay. That's what well, Stefan did. So I, I do fly X hover, but the reason I fly aliens is because you can take a dead on frontal impact and most of the time it's fine. Looks pretty good to me. But the only problem is that GoPro's gone again. I just wanna... That tree just takes those GoPros and just chucks them right out. So the goal was I was coming down through here okay. and I was gonna pull out and just lie upward. Go go through here like this, but instead it went like that. <laughs> and it didn't work. But whatever. <laughs> so now we gotta find a GoPro. Here it is. Oh, got it. it. Alright. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> so it says it's still recording, but it's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> At 202. That was the moment of death. Oh I turned off. That was oh, a hard hit. Back. So oh, cool. let's see what job, it says. Dude. Repairing file. Come on. Yeah, see that little band-aid? It's repairing it. I don't see nothing changing with the lens. File repaired. <laughs> Actually, what I'm saying is you should never listen to Alex because he's an instigator. No! Secondly, hey, the... and everybody on YouTube knows it. No, no, yep. no. Yep. no. This is... Dude, he makes me do things that I never dream possible. Mainly, I should never dream those possible because I can't do them. 
And every time I do them, something in my quad goes haywire. Yeah. Here's a good, so, so we have these props on the store now. Yes, we and do. And if you notice, the GoPro exploded, the quad bounced off the tree twice, and it's got a little the, bend, but other than that, good. I want to see. Oh, wow. He almost tripped on his face. Yeah, I'm fine.